Hey, kiddo, what you doing? Making some toast. Man, wouldn't it be nice if you didn't have to stand there and make your own toast? Yes, that would be great, but that would involve me having access to some kind of advanced control system that implements a form of negative feedback to monitor the level of toasticity of my toast and terminate the toasting process when the steady state error between how toasted my toast is and a specified input of how toasted I want my toast to be reaches zero. Well, have we got the product for you. <laughs> Introducing the Toasty 2000. This top-of-the-line control system is the most advanced thing since the toilet. Capable of toasting your toast in a matter of seconds and you don't even have to be there. But how? This baby comes with a state-of-the-art thermostat capable of measuring the internal temperature of your toaster and comparing that with an input desired temperature you specify using this dial upon toasting. When the temperatures reach the same value, the steady state error reaches zero, a switch is enabled which deactivates the heating element and ejects your toast, ready to be eaten by you. Please tell me more! <laughs> well, taking a look at this block diagram we have here, we start off on the left with an input, a desired temperature as specified by the numbers on the front dial, given our K proportionality constant, and T, which is the temperature of the internal toaster. <laughs> we need some help. Well, taking a look at our block diagram here, actually one second, we'll start off on the left with our input, desired temperature as specified by the dial on the front of the Toasty 2000. Translating over to our P controller, our proportional controller, as influenced by Newton's law of heating. With K being our proportionality gain constant, T is the internal temperature of the Toasty 2000, and M is the... Wait, <laughs> okay, what's M? and M is the temperature of the surroundings, in this case, induced by the heating element of the toaster. Moving on to our plant, which is in this case, our Toasty 2000, giving us an output temperature. Coming back around our negative feedback loop, we hit the thermostat, which senses the internal temperature, and feeds back into our loop. Now, when the sensed temperature by the thermostat reaches the same temperature as our desired input, the steady state error reaches zero, giving us a signal which is actuated here, which kills the heating element and ejects our toast, ready to be eaten by you. By you. By you. 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 In summary, we just reviewed the dynamic controlled process of a toaster. Equations, Newton's Law of Heating, a discrete system with the input as the desired internal temperature and the output being the final temperature, and a nice piece of toast. Temperature being the thing measured with a negative feedback loop and a proportional controller. That's it.